Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Um, today, this is a podcast. Um, I will be going through everything new. Um, I have a lot to show. I have uh, three big parcels to open as well. Um, I have luxury fiber to show and I have all the recent spins to show and I want to show you um, a woven piece that I am work going to be working on um, soon very 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 soon I got the last parts to it which is in the parcels um, I need to dye them up I am going to go for a deep violet colour, um, which will be for the fill wealth of the woven shawl that I am planning. So, to start, I will be showing you my recent spins. So, I went away for a couple days it turned out to be three days instead of two weeks um, due to snap uh, three day snap lockdown which happened in Brisbane and I ended up getting um, allergies sick so I came home and um, I've been making things um, I did a couple coarse fun yarns um, and a beehive spin when I was away. Um, but when I got home, I finished them off and did a couple of videos for you guys. Super coiling them. They turned out so beautiful. These are only little tiny skeins, um, Hanks, but... I think adding them in um, your weaving or um, for texture with another um, hank of something or ball of something for a beanie or scarf around your neck. These are so soft. But these will be up on my Etsy next week or maybe at the end of this week i have to wash them still then i'll put photograph them and then they will be up in there for you i do have prices on these already if you do like them um psychedelic peacock playing with butterflies is um 32 dollars and this one, Lady in Red, is also is $37. That one has Camel as well. And that's why the price is a little bit more expensive. This is Luxury. Um, so pretty much I chuck the price of the fiber and then my spinning fee. So... They turned out beautiful. If you do like the ones with the, the sari silk ribbon and you want, it, want me to make more and want me to show you how to connect them and spin them from scratch, let me know in the comments and I will do a um, tutorial showing you from start to finish. So that's those ones. Then I did a just a single core spun in psychedelic peacock. That one will be available as well for twenty two dollars. So if you like this, you've got about thirty two grams and thirty two meters. To do something with um 
then I made this one when I was away trying a thicker thread for plying which was a two ply silk um, this is the same fiber as the psychedelic peacocks um, angora bunny cashmere blue face lester tensile plied with two ply silk thread it's 141 grams and 250.6 meters it's a DK Iran with um, thick and thin and beehive so this one is got very it's got very long thin bits and randomly I've added a beehive or a thick and thin so that one will be available on my Etsy as well for $59. And then this is pretty. I love this one. It's a lace to light fingering. I've called it licorice all sorts. It's an 18.5 micron merino and silk plied with mulberry silk. 104 grams, 342 meters. That's like that's 100 meters more than I normally get. Um, equipped to lace light fingering, um, two to three ply and two ply constructed. So if you're interested in that one, I need to wash it and set it and then it will be up on my Etsy shop. I've priced this one at $50 so beautiful it's got very long um meterage it's like um you've got huge section of black gray huge section of uh white and then a huge section of the um scarlet pink color I think it'd be very pretty as a wrap or a shawl or knitted or crochet you can crochet with this style of spin and it looks so pretty and if you're not sure come and have a look on my Facebook page um, and my mum and me page and you'll see just how well they knit and crochet up as well as you can weave with them and they got the most beautiful drape um, so that's for my latest spins oh and one more I've done some more minis in the thick and thin beehives um, in 18 micron merino so I will be making a heap more of these they were very popular um, and they will be up on my Etsy in a month's time I will be dyeing them in color sets so keep an eye out for them um, what else I will be doing some weaving soon and I will be filming it so if you're interested in learning how to do this technique um, it's gonna be exciting uh, so I designed this diamond hemmed 
pattern um, two years ago. Um, I would like to learn how to actually make it in a PTF file pattern so it's sort of available for everyone to be able to make it themselves but I just don't know how to do that. So I will be making another one of these soon. Um, it is, so I make it on my knitter's loom and the pattern at the bottom is tapestry woven and wrapped. So the next one, this one is mine, this was the first one I made and then I bought the Templar which makes the sides straight from bottom to the from one end to the other so there's no caving in on the sides so this is the the pattern in the center and then it's matching diamond hem on each end of the shawl so the next one that i am planning and almost completely got everything for is i will have colors in okay where i've got the black or the dark gray I plan on having a deep um, violet color on the next one and where the gold is on the other side I am going to be using I've been planning this one over the past two years since the pandemic started so these are my hand spuns so where I've got the gold in the body I am planning on having these for the clasp this yarn if you do love it it is my own dye job um, it is called um, dragonfly whoop losing it this is so beautiful I just had to use it for my own thing instead of selling it This is cashmere merino silk. Then I've plied it with silk and metallic thread. But it's so 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 pretty. But um, the maid yarn I've changed the name to Strange Magic. But it's so pretty. I can't wait to use it. And the picture in my head of the finished product just be there for everyone to see what I've been dreaming for two years. Um, so, so that and violet for the, the middle. Then I'm going to use, this is silk. For the warp on this one I won't be using this shiny silk because it took forever to finish because it's so slippery 
So instead, I found red eerie thread. So this one is going to be my warp. Red eerie. It's a two ply constructed yarn. I have 1500 meters on this beauty. So I will be warping with this and I will be using it in the pattern as well. It's going to be divine. <laughs> uh, for the red diamond, I will be using another hand spun of mine. It is so pretty. And this shawl is going to be sold with this shawl pin. I'm designing this shawl around this shawl pin. This is so stunning. This one was made by one of my buyers. Um, I will put the link to her store at the bottom of this video in the description. So you can go check her out and she does customs. She's also an Australian um, small business and all small businesses here in Australia and anywhere in the world at the moment is doing it tough. So if you can go give her some love, she makes the most beautiful woven um, designed jewelry and brooches. So that one is going to be part of the shawl. So I hope you are looking forward to the making of that one. It's going to take me a month. So I want to try to get all of my orders done first and then I can get into it. There's a lot of planning. I gotta design, I gotta design the, the pattern because each one of those shawls has a different pattern at the bottom. They're not all the same. Okay, um, so that's two subjects done. Very excited about that one. I am so close, so close to getting everything done for it. Um, so what else? I will be doing a couple spinning videos coming up. Um, I made these arty mini bats. Um, for some core spinning video. Um, I want to teach you how to actually core spin using mini bats um, with an auto wrap and adding in the sari ribbon. And then I will be showing, also doing the, um, the super coiling as well. So that's the next video after this one. Um, so if you want to watch that one, stay tuned. 
probably at the end of the week or next week I'll have that one out. I'm just trying to finish an order that I've got at the moment and then I'll get into doing another video. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then another video that I am working on and this is part of um, a carding video that I did a couple weeks ago. You might remember these little mini bats. So I will be spinning these up as minis and then I will be doing another video um, making them into the pin loom squares. Um, I did a couple when I was away. I'm shaking. Did a couple when I was away at my mum's. So I want to make something other than just spinning all the time. So I'm going to be making a probably a jacket or a singlet top um, so that's using some hand spun lace weight that I made um, probably not lace weight light fingering weight that I made a couple of years ago um, I might get, I don't know, probably, probably enough to make a, a singlet using that and the other little bubble that I've got in there. Um, i got a lot of projects, a lot of things that I want to do and never have time to do because I'm always busy with orders, but I will get there. I love orders. Don't get me wrong. I love them. They pay and give me a little extra money and and um, yeah, I don't work. This is all I do. I have lots of pretty stuff from one of my most favorite suppliers here in Australia um that i received for a commission um so it's pretty much i've offered to help a another small um fiber business here in australia um they are in emerald Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, so they're called Rose Gum Alpacas. They raise, obviously, alpacas. Um, they've got a little shop, and but they don't get a lot of spinners that come through and buy fibre. Um, all the more expensive fibre from them because they're out bush. Um, and with the uh, lockdowns and the border closures and stuff like that, they've been finding it really tough with not having the grey nomads come through each year. Um, and they're their main customers. So I offered to help. Um, sell um, some stuff for them that doesn't have any alpaca in them because I'm allergic to alpaca which sucks but um, I have a lot of beautiful soft luxury 
fiber from your shell bunny to help them out um they've paid for the fiber so anything that sells is full price what's on the tags i sell i will then send the money um to them once they sell so that helps them out i can sell it faster than they can um, I've still got heaps left. Um, this is cashmere fling. Um, so beautiful. It is so soft. I'm spinning some at the moment. It is so, so soft. This is one of the most softest blends that Charlie makes from Michelle Bunny. Um, you get a hundred grams for twenty four, twenty five dollars. So if you want any, I've still got three hundred grams left. Um, blue, green, brown. This one's my favourite, and a brown one. I also am offering to spin it um, with my spinning fee. Then I've got some more of the psychedelic peacock blend. So there's 200 grams left of that for $24 for 100 grams each. Um, Angel Bunny, a pearlescent blend, Angora Bunny, Cashmere, Blue Face Luster, and Tencel. The other one, which is a pinky brown colour, spins up like, like that. Quite pretty. This one's got bison, brown bison in it, so it won't have... Well, maybe. It's similar. Maybe it is. Similar, but not the same. Um, that's Happy Bunny. It's got super fine eco merino, hemp, mugger silk, angora bunny, llama, cashmere in it, and tinsel. So, do you like any of them? Let me know. Um, there's this one, it's, it's actually a dark red and it's got a lot of sparkle, a lot of rainbow sparkle in it. It's called Magic Bunny Organic Merino Angora. Cashmere and Rainbow Glitz. 100 grams for $24. If you like that, let me know. Also, I'm offering to spin it, so just chuck 25 on that and about $30 on that for um, plying thread and my spinning fee. Ah, this is just a mix of pink and white fiber that I plan on mashing together and making some hand spun from eventually. Um, we have three, 350 gram lots of cash uh, of camel bunny this has got camel angora bunny silk and cashmere it's 50 grams um camel is a lot more expensive here in australia so that's why they're in 50 grams so they're more affordable for people um 50 grams is 22 dollars i've got three of these 
so if you want these let me know or I can spin them up same thing add thirty dollars on that price and that's the price per skein um, I do have a lot from out of, uh, a lot of fiber with this commission so we have two gaga tops each 100 grams available um $24 each in these there is blue face lester angora bunny cashmere and rainbow stellina so let me know send me a message on facebook if you're interested in anything these are not on the um etsy shop and then we've got this one this one is viva frida frida it's got churro i gave cactus cashmere and angora bunny that one is 100 grams for $24. Again, let me know if you're interested in anything. Um, so, this is going to be a long video. I will try to wrap it up soon though because I only got 50, 51 minutes on the clock. Um, so the last part to show is the opening of the parcels. Now this is restock. Um, where is my scissors? This is restock. Okay. So. I was running out of twine threads. So I bought more. some new things so I bought some more three ply silk in apple and this one's got silver sparkle instead of the gold yeah I got stuff in my face I well this soft this is Probably the silk merino. No, this is silk. That's right. That's so pretty. I love the colour. A plum. I just wanted different colours this time. Oh, it must be the. It's the same. This is more of a maroon, not a bright colour. They are soft, so soft. It's the same colour. Different fibre though, I think that's the fine merino. Oh, slightly different, more red. The 
the move with silver sparkle all these flying threads are from yarn barn here in australia i like to support the small businesses um oh <laughs> this is beautiful not as bright as it is on cam on as is there as it is on camera this is more of a dark turquoise pretty that is soft like the other one so i think that might be the merino silk My last one is a aqua. I bought a, it's a dark aqua, it's not blue. Or a, a light teal, I think it's aqua. I love it. It's that silk merino. So pretty. Got some nice colours this time around. Be able to make lots of pretty things. Okay, in the first big parcel, there is going to be a lot of white because I need to dye, which means I'm going to have some new things available on my Etsy in the next few months but keep an eye out I have plans to make I have plans to make more um, mini sets and a weavers bulk buy box so keep an eye out for them they will be budget yarns not the best fiber but budget quality um yarns probably the 21 microns so i can keep the price down so it's affordable for you guys um i bought one point five kilos of 18.5 micron merino in tops well, I'm gonna have heaps of dyeing videos and heaps and heaps of making videos and stuff I'm planning on also having dyed tops available on my Etsy shop soon as well. And this is my yarn for my woven garment, which will be dyed in the violet. Mm. How exciting! Finally getting there. Um, so I'll throw that over there. That's the last pieces for that making of that thing. I got a card. I got something. Okay, I will read that later. Okay, I will read that later. Okay, the next one is just um, 21 micron merino. I think I went two and a half kilos this time. Maybe. I hope that is not on camera, my address.
So, Alright, so the 18 Micron Merino is from Cashmere Connections in Australia. It's a mill. Um, this fibre here, two and a half kilos worth, is from Gary Sheen. So thank you. I will do, and it's soft. Um, this stuff dies out really good um, and it spins up very easy too. So this is the budget yeah, budget stuff. Um, I will be making a lot of uh, minis and a lot of uh, weavers packs with them um, and budget yarns. So for all those that can't afford the really expensive luxury stuff. Um, I will probably have quite a lot of that available as dyed tops as well. Um, but first I need to get through the order that I'm spinning. Um, a couple more YouTube videos and then I can do a big dyeing session. Um, and get into that woven garment. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, thank you for if you lasted the 43 minutes. <laughs> um, I had fun uh, showing you everything and unpacking the new restock and just talking like normal um so yeah thank you for joining me and um give me a thumbs up uh comment below if you'd like me to do any videos on anything um you can give me suggestions and stuff um and yeah have a wonderful evening, afternoon or morning, wherever you are in the world. And I will um, put out the next video, hopefully next week. Bye for now.